What's up, y'all? Blacked Out Media back in the studio, back in the boo, bringing y'all true <laughs> 2010s in. And this is Blacked Out, y'all. Blacked Out Media is the site, but y'all might rem remember me as Blacked Out. Okay. Now I'm putting down a new site, new information for my people, for the, for the black nation, and actually for all people, but particularly for the black nation, for us to come to a realization that we need to make 2010 a very, very important year, okay? 2010 is a very important year in our calendar history, the black nation's history, and we got to make 2010 a year that we strive to be the best that we can, the best that we can be under all circumstances, we got to become the leaders, the leaders that will forge a new way at this point in time. We have to stand up for what's right. Freedom, justice, and equality, we got to stand up for that. We got to stand up and make things right in our communities. The people that want to see positive, positive change in the black community and not only the black community, but the communities all across America, the brown community, uh, Hispanic, uh, Asian, Indian, white, okay? We have to stand up all people who seek positive, righteous change in the community that they live in are going to have to stand up in 2010 and make it a reality. Yo, know, let's give thanks to God for allowing my 2010 um, to come in and, you know, if you're listening to this, you're still here and you're still breathing air that God created. Uh, thank God that you were able to get through another year on this earth. Thank God for that. So let's make 2010 a year that we struggle and strive for the best you know, live out our lives completely and fully and make this year a year that we could look back on and say, man, I accomplished a lot this year. I accomplished so much. I can't believe it. You know, we want to look back on this year, uh, 2010, when it's 2010 is over and say to yourself, I accomplished so much. I'm so proud of myself. I'm proud of what I accomplished in my community, the people that I helped out in my community, the people I helped out of my family, uh, you know, things like that. I mean, 2009, if you can look back on 2009 and say those things now, that's fine. You know, if you can look back on 2009 and say, hey, well, I wish I could have done better. We all can say that 2009, if you look back over the years, I'm pretty sure most of us can say we could have done better. We could have helped more people. We could have done more positive things in our communities. We could have made a difference. Uh, and not only in our communities and other communities, but first we got to start with our own community and then we can move from our community to other communities and help those people out. But once we get our community in order, we can go help other communities. So you have to start at home first. So for all the people out there listening, 2010 is in and we got to do what's right and make this thing happen, y'all. Now, my issue today is really an issue uh, I'm going to bring to the table in reference to um, all the media attention that the black man seems to be getting today at this time. Now, the black man, for some reason, is getting a lot of attention in the media. And if you follow the media like I do, you know, CNN, uh, local, national news reports, I mean, media... Just television media in general, I mean, cable, all that. I seem to notice, if, uh, and I'm pretty sure a lot of other people notice this, or maybe you don't notice this, but if you are actually a conscious person and you um, scrutinize the media like I do, uh, you look for all those little signs and symbols that, that the media puts out. I mean, the media right now in the United States, the media is trying to portray the black man and, and this is a historical thing actually I'm pretty sure people can agree to this most people can historically this media has tried to portray black men as the villain as the person who is out there causing all the trouble in the society and especially our young black 
uh, man, um, I'm in that picture, you know, but the young black men, you know, that are uh, teenagers. So I'm not a teenager, but I'm still young. But the young black men out there, teenagers especially, need to be aware if you're listening that there are people out there that seek to destroy you, seek to cause you harm, and they seek to take or strip you from your glorious future that you have ahead of you. Now, young black men out there in the society and the black community who are out there trying to do what's right and do the right thing um, in their community and live righteously and help other people those men are put in the same bag or same group together and as a, as the men that are out there doing negative things in the in the black community so you got a situation where the focus is on all the negativity or just the negative things that are happening in the black community and focus is taken away from all the positive brothers out there who are trying trying and striving to do what's right and be on the right stay on the right path it's a struggle I know it's a struggle for my young brothers in this day and time to stay on the right path and do the right thing but just just keep in mind that you have a lot of forces against you but you have a lot of forces that are for you working for you and for your benefit right now my young black brothers you will not be defeated as simple as that I'm just telling you this whatever forces that come against you just know that they will never defeat the black man, the young black man that's going to come up and overcome every negative situation that they put in front of you. They cannot stop you. As simple as that. So for my young brothers out there, keep your head up and strive to be right, be righteous, believe in one God and that God has the power to overcome all things in your life for you. I mean, the media brothers, my young brothers, they're trying to destroy you. So every time you see a black man in the media, you constantly see his face in the media. You know, you constantly see a picture of a black man uh, and this his story, whatever he's done, is blown out of proportion. Uh, you know that there's a systematic attack against the young black male as simple as that you have a glorious future ahead of you you are to become destined to become the leader the leaders of a society that you live in but you need to focus and gain knowledge and grow in knowledge supreme knowledge that will allow you to overcome all obstacles for my young brothers, let's, let's make 10,010 a year that we strive to be the best that we can be and show that no power on this earth beside God can destroy us. Simple as that. No power can destroy the young black male. Simple as that. Because when you have the supreme God at your back and in front of you, surrounding you you can't be stopped just know that and all my uh positive brothers out there who are trying to gain knowledge and use that knowledge to benefit them selves and their families and other people go out in the community and look for those brothers out there who you think need guidance and help out of a neg negative situation you know, those brothers are probably waiting for another brother to come to them and ask them, you know, what what's going on with you? Why, why are you out here, you know, uh, living a negative life? And try to point that brother in the right direction. 2010, y'all, all my positive brothers out there, let's strive to go get our brothers out there. This is Black Thought signing off. Peace.